Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. This is the news for the first week of June. First up, NCSoft is to disclose probabilities for all paid game items from the third quarter. NCSoft will disclose the probabilities of all random paid items and contents for in-game purchases, such as the loot box. NC announced on May 27th that the amendment to the Code of Self-Regulation for Creating a Healthy Game Culture announced by K Games will start taking effect from the third quarter and will be applied to all games. NC will complete the application before December this year when the amendment to the Code of Self-Regulation becomes effective. On May 27th, K Games announced the revised bill of the Code of Self-Regulation on expanding the scope of disclosing probabilities. The revised bill of the Code of Self-Regulation is on expanding and strengthening the scope of targets and diversifying the method of displaying the information on probabilities. The revised bill of the Code of Self-Regulation will take effect from December 1st. Next up, HME Healthcare selected as the company to receive investment option guarantee from Coded. HME, a microbiome company, announced on May 27th that it has recently been selected as the company to receive an investment option guarantee worth 600 million Korean won through CODIT, or Korea Credit Guarantee Fund's innovative startup support program. The investment option guarantee is a hybrid investment financing product for smooth funding and financial structure improvement for new startup companies with promising growth potential. HME Healthcare is made up of two founders with PhDs from the University of Hong Kong and three researchers. Based on the analysis of microbiome big data, the company is focusing on predicting antibiotic resistant bacteria infection by using artificial intelligence and discovering and developing natural products derived from non-cultured microorganisms. Pak Tae-jin, CEO of HME Healthcare, said, Based on our core technology, we are putting more energy into the development of innovative solutions for diagnosing and treating infections. We are smoothly expanding the next-gen microbiome sequencing analysis service. For our third news story, Kakao builds OTT platform and acquires a streaming company for 25 billion Korean won. Kakao Entertainment, a subsidiary of Kakao, acquired video streaming technology company INISoft for 25 billion won. This is seen as a sign that Kakao is jumping full force into the OTT business. According to sources in the investment banking industry on May 27th, Kakao Entertainment acquired 100% of INISoft's stake for 25 billion won. Starting with the development of the media player Dice Player for Android in 2009, it has been operating a video streaming server. It has been a video streaming platform developer that was established in 2001. It has a variety of business capabilities in the video streaming field with the experience in jointly developing video platforms with foreign telecommunications companies and OTT providers. According to the IT industry, Kakao Entertainment is preparing to make its own video platform by next year. Up to now, Kakao Entertainment has run its content business only by uploading video content to the Kakao Talk linked Kakao TV or selling its video content to the already established OTT platforms like Netflix and Wave. The industry predicts that Kakao Entertainment will expand its power in the OTT market with the ability to produce original contents. Kakao Entertainment has strengthened its video production capabilities by continuously acquiring film and drama production companies like Cross Pictures, Moonlight Film, Sanai Pictures, and Story and Pictures Media. Next up on the agenda, Nexon invests 100 million US dollars in coins and loses 33%, but will continue to invest. According to CoinMarketCap on May 26, the Bitcoin, which Nexon's Japanese subsidiary bought on April 28th for an average unit price of $58,226, about 65.8 million won at the time, settled for around 39,000 US dollars, about 43.52 million won on that day. At the time, Nexon bought 1,717 coins for about $100 million. This became a hot topic because it was the first time for a Korean game company to invest such a large amount, around 100 billion won, directly into Bitcoin. At the time, the cryptocurrency prices were going up every day, so Nexon's investment 
was viewed positively at the time. However, as negative news related to Bitcoin, like China's mining regulations and the environmental issues rolled in, Nexon's losses have been increasing daily. The current loss from Nexon's Bitcoin investment is about 33%. However, Nexon doesn't seem to be shaken by the situation. This shows that Nexon has not been going for a short-term market gain, but believes that Bitcoin will bring a profit in the long run. As the ratio of Bitcoin is less than 2% of Nexon's cashable assets, the impact of the decline is not considered significant. And finally, we're going to break down some of the quick news bits of the day. First up, Pangeo Techno Valley has designated a special game and content zone, Pangeo Techno Valley, Pangeo IT Center, to be provided in June. Songnam Shi has designated this Pangeo area as a special game and content zone. The knowledge industry centers nearby are expected to benefit greatly from this move. Next little story of the day, promising bio and smart city startups gather in Pangyo Startup Zone. The Startup Zone operating organization, Gyeonggi CCEI, said on May 28th that the second startup 815 held in Pangyo Startup Zone on May 27th was quite a success. And for our final short briefing, 4,229 people were vaccinated using the same day COVID vaccine reservation system from Naver and Kakao app. On May 27th, about 62,000 people were vaccinated with leftover vaccines from the first dose of COVID vaccines that were originally intended to be injected into the elderly who are between the ages of 65 to 74, as well as people with chronic severe respiratory diseases. Among them, about 4,000 users used the Neighbor and Cacao app to make the same day reservation. I'm Alex Sigris from Pangio Techno Valley Weekly News, and we'll see you next week.